Hello everyone, welcome back. In the series Mycology, in the last video we discuss about the reproduction of fungi and in this video we are going to discuss about the classification of fungi. Let's begin. Classification of fungi. The classification of fungi is divided into two categories. First is taxonomic classification and second is morphological classification. First, we are going to discuss about the taxonomic classification. Taxonomic classification may will discuss ke, uh, in which kingdom fungi is and what are its classes and the sub kingdom and the classes of the fungi and the different species. So first of all, fungi comes under the kingdom of kingdom mycota. Uh, in the five kingdom system, there are five kingdoms. Kingdom prokaryotes, Kingdom Protesta, Kingdom Fungi or Kingdom Mycota, Kingdom Animalia and Kingdom Planty. So Kingdom Mycota deals with the fungi. Usme phir sub kingdoms hai. U Mycota and U Mycota. U Mycota deals with the primitive fungi. Or U Mycota has advanced fungi. U Mycota jisme primitive fungi hai. These are those fungi which is accepted mycelium. And U mycota ke under advanced fungi hai which has septate mycelium. U mycota has, for, uh, has only one class which is zygomycetes. Class zygomycetes. U mycota zygomycetes and they are also known as conjugation fungi. This is a method of reproduction that is why the, they are known as conjugation fungi. Zygomycetes ke under jo species hai they are rhizopus, mucor, absidia. These species are present. Sexual spores are hote inke inko zygospores kehte hain and we have already discussed in the reproduction video. The second subkingdom which is Eumycota in which there is septate mycelium which are also known as advanced fungi. Uh, it, uh, this kingdom has three subclasses. Class 1 Ascomycetes, class 2 Basidiomycetes and third class Deuteromycetes. Ascomycetes come sick fungi because usme jo esco spores and sexual spores they are enclosed in a sac which is known as ascus that is why known as sick fungi. Iske in the two species hain Aspergillus species and Pencillium species. The second class which is known as Basidiomycetes usko club fungi bhi kehte hain. This is known as club fungi because iske jo sexual spores hain Basidiospores they are enclosed in a club like structure they, called basidium that is why they are known as club fungi and the third um, class which is known as deuteromycetes the deuteromycetes are also known as fungi imperfecti or imperfect fungi these are known as imperfect fungi because no sexual reproduction method is identified in this class the examples are microsporum species, trichophyton species and epidermatophyton species. So this is the classification of uh, fungi according to taxonomy. Now the morphological classification. Morphological classification is based on the shape of the fungi. Whether the fungi are yeast or they are yeast like forms or they are molds or dimorphic fungi. So there are four subcategories in the morphological classification. Yeast, yeast like forms, molds and dimorphic fungi. We will discuss this one by one. Yeast. Yeast are unicellular single cell organism. These are the only single cell organisms present in the kingdom fungi. Otherwise all other species or other organisms present in the kingdom fungi they are multicellular. Yeast are unicellular but their size is larger than bacteria as bacteria are also unicellular. Their size is they are 5 to 10 micrometer in length and 1 to 5 micrometer in breadth. They are well grown at body temperature 37 centigrade in this uh, that is why fungi ke andar jo dimorphism present hota hai usme jo structure body ke andar present hota in the living tissues wo yeast hota hai because it is well grown at the body temperature. Microscopic, microscopically, if we look at yeast, ko the, they are oval to round cells which is shown in the microscopic diagram. And macroscopically, if we look at smooth surface colonies banata, which resemble the bacteria colony uh, which is also shown in the picture in a petri dish which um, white uh, smooth surface colonies are present uh, yeast. Ki. 
its reproduction is by budding process which is the asexual reproduction an example of the yeast are cryptococcus neoformans which is the pathogenic yeast the second is yeast like forms yeast like forms are also similar to yeast they are also oval to round in shape they are also uni um, unicellular there is a mistake in the cellular spelling they are also grown at well at 37 centigrade temperature after incubation they also form smooth su surface colonies which resemble the bacteria but the only difference between the yeast and yeast like forms is that ke yeast like forms have an elongated structure which is known as pseudo hyphae we discussed in the reproduction video that what is pseudo hyphae ke when but, uh, because yeast to reproduce by budding वहाँ पे तो यीस्ट बर्ड के थ्रू रिप्रोड्यूस करके अपना एक अलग यीस्ट में पेरेंट सेल से वो डिटैच होके बर्ड जो है वो नए यीस्ट में कन्वर्ट हो रही थी बट इन यीस्ट लाइक फॉर्म्स व्हाट हैपेंस कि जो बर्ड है वो मल्टीपल बर्ड्स बना के वो अपने पेरेंट सेल से डिटैच नहीं होता एंड दैट मल्टीपल बर्ड्स फिर एक लॉन्गेटेड स्ट्रक्चर में कन्वर्ट हो जाते हैं विच इज़ नोन एज सीडो हाइफी दैट इज़ वाई दे आर यीस्ट लाइक फॉर्म्स अदरवाइज ऑल द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर सिमिलर टू द यीस्ट The example is Candida albicans, which is also a pathogenic organism. They also reproduce by budding. Third are the moles. Moles are multicellular. They have filamentous structure through hyphae. Hyphae may be septate or aseptate, or hyphae may form a metal-like structure, which is known as mycelium. There are two types of mycelium: aerial, aerial mycelium and surface mycelium. The surface mycelium, because it is attached to surface, it is involved in the attachment of the fungi to the surface. This is also known as vegetative hyphae. The other kind of hyphae, which is aerial um, aerial mycelium, this is the reproductive hyphae. This is reproductive hyphae because the reproductive structures, the conidiospores, sporangiospores, they are attached to this aerial mycelium. It is involved in reproduction. It produces spores. The root-like hyphae, which is uh, present, which is known as rhizoid, it also helps in the anchor uh, of the fungi to the surface. In moles, the mycelium or spores को मिला के हम एक collective structure कहते हैं, which is known as thallus or the fungal body. Moles are grown well at 25 centigrade temperature, which is the room temperature. That is why again, जब fungi में dimorphism को discuss करते हैं, तो dimorphism में जो mold-like structure है, which वो रूम टेम्परेचर पे ग्रो करते हैं 25 फाइव से नहीं इन्वायरमेंट में जब फंजा प्रेजेंट है तो वो मोल्ड के फॉर्म में प्रेजेंट है और जब इन ह्यूमन बॉडी इन द लिविंग टिश्यूज प्रेजेंट है तो वो यीस्ट के फॉर्म में प्रेजेंट है विच ग्रोज वेल एट थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर आफ्टर इनक्यूबेशन के कल्चर को जो इनकी कॉलोनीज बनते हैं वो कॉटनी एंड स्प्रेडिंग टाइप ऑफ ग्रोथ होती है दे रिप्रोड्यूस बाई एसेक्शुअल एज वेल एज सेक्शुअल मेथड्स एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मोल्ड आर डेमेटोफाइड्स Three species are under the dermatophytes: Trichophyton, Epidermophyton, and Microsporum species. Diamorphs, the fourth category. Diamorphism, a fungus which occurs in two different forms, depends on the environmental condition, temperature, or place. The same thing. Diamorphism का मतलब ये है कि there are two different structures of the fungi, but these structures different uh, are. Uh, based on the temperature or the difference in the place. अगर environment में है ambient temperature, room temperature पे 25 फाइव सेंटीग्रेड पर तो दे एग्जिस्ट एज मोल्स अगर ह्यूमन टिश्यूज़ में है एट बॉडी टेम्परेचर थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर दे एग्जिस्ट एज यीस्ट फॉर्म बट देर इज़ अ एक्सेप्शन विच द ऑर्गेनिज्म द स्पीशीज आर कोक्सीड्योर्स इन कोक्सीड्योर्स दे एग्जिस्ट एज एस्फेरूल्स नॉट एज यीस्ट फॉर्म The examples are diamorphs are coccidios emitters, para coccidios, blastomyces, histoplasma, sporothrix. So this was the classification of the fungi on two categories: taxonomic classification and morphological classification. We end the classification video here. In the next video, we'll discuss about the pathogenesis and the fun, uh, fungal allergies, fungal toxins. I hope you like the video please like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you